Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Austin Butler was considered for Miles Teller's role as Bradley, Rooster, Bradshaw in the summer blockbuster Top Gun, Maverick. The film's casting director Denise Chamian opened up to Variety about the 30-year-old actor's efforts to secure a role in the Top Gun sequel. Although the role ultimately went to Teller. Chamian said she kept Butler on her radar and eventually helped him land the title role in Baz Luhrmann's Elvis biopic. Chamian revealed to the outlet that Butler was in the top running for the part of Rooster during Top Gun, Maverick's casting process. The thing that he got the closest to was Top Gun. When I cast that, we were looking for the role that Miles Teller played, she recalled. Although the actor's tryout was well received by the movie's producers, they felt that Teller was better suited for the role. I felt so passionate about Austin. Ultimately, his audition was shown to Tom and all the filmmakers. They agreed he had something and they were happy to know him, but they thought he was too young, she explained. Chamian said that she knew Butler was special after seeing his audition and that he had the ability to captivate moviegoers. I saw that this actor has something very special that other people don't always have. It's almost the way he looks into the camera. He knows the camera and lets the camera see him. And that is really what is so captivating, she gushed. Teller and Butler were reportedly also head-to-head -head for the role of Elvis in the recently released biopic, which ultimately went to Butler. Top Gun, Maverick had its wide release on May 27, and it has since grossed over $1 billion at the worldwide box office. It received widespread critical acclaim, and currently holds a 97% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Chamian later noted that, when she was tasked with finding a performer to star in Elvis and that Butler immediately came to mind. From the very beginning, there was something about Austin to me that was a little reminiscent of Elvis, she stated. Speaking on Butler's performance, Chamian admitted that she was blown away by his convincing Elvis portrayal. He's so great in the film, and by the end, People have missed that edit from Austin's Elvis to the real Elvis. Elvis, which also stars Tom Hanks, was released to the public last month after months of hype. The movie has since received rave reviews from critics, many of whom praised Butler's portrayal of the titular singer. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone.